Okay, in this tutorial we're going to be giving a little audio cue when the player uses the light switch. So when they turn it on or off, it's going to play this sound right here. You can replace this with any sound that you want, but this is going to be the one that's included in the description for you to use in case you just want to go ahead and have something to go ahead and try and test with. So we need to go ahead and set up our .cpp to be able to use it. What we're going to be needing is UGamePlay statistics. So if we scroll to the bottom, we can see what we need to include. So go ahead and put that in at the top of your lightswitch.cpp and scroll down to the toggle light function. Now if we scroll through gameplay statistics, we should find a function called, here it is, play sound at location. And as you can see for the actual sound, it is use sound base. Oops. So what I want to do is inside of the editor, I want to be able to choose which sound gets played just like we did with the static meshes. So I can choose whatever sound I want to be played when the user uses it. So to do that, we're going to go to the .h and make a new property, edit anywhere. I'm going to set the category to be under light switch, just like before. And u sound base. Call this light switch sound. Let's go ahead and build it to get it started and come over here to lightswitch.cpp. Now at the top here, directly below our boolean switch, we're going to be going and going through UGamePlay statistics to get through play sound at location. So that you can do that by UGamePlay statistics. And as you can see, up oh, there it goes. Gameplay statistics play sound at location. Now it takes in the pretty much the world that we're going to be in. So get world. The sound, which was light switch sound. And then the location. Now the location we can use literally just the actual location of this light switch. So we can use the function get actor location. Then the volume multiplier, we're just going to leave it, so 1.0. Same thing for pitch, and start, well, start time we're going to leave it 0. Oops, forgot a comma. Then we are good to go. Let's go ahead and build one more time and head into the editor. As you can see, here's our light switch sound. And if we do the drop down menu, you can see a bunch of sounds from the samples. I'm just going to play the that's something quick, so set it to the explosion sound. Wait for this to finish building. So now, when the user uses the light switch, it should hear an explosion. I can hit it. Yep, just like so, and that's probably a little loud. So let's make that a little more pleasant by using our .wav file. So let's import it. I'm under light switch, the folder, right click, import, and find it. Let's go ahead and just change the name. Where's re I'm blind. So S light switch sound, just to indicate that it's a sound. Then if we go, we can't use this just on its own right here. We need to right click and create a new sound cue. So we go to sounds, sound cue. So I'm going to do S, C, light, switch, sound. Now if we open up the sound cue, you'll be greeted with this little screen here. But as you can see, when I press play cue, nothing happens because nothing is assigned to go into this output. So what we can do is click and drag our sound file right onto it and attach the two nodes together. So now if I hit play Q, you can hear it plays the light switch, or the toggling of light switch sound. Let's go ahead and save it. 
simply click our light switch and change this to SC. Wait, can you just play the normal sound? Well, yes you can. <laughs> so you don't actually need to make a sound cue apparently. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And just simply select the light switch sound. So now, just like you saw like a second ago, when we press the light switch to off, place the sound, on, place the sound, just like so. So you have a pretty good light switch setup, works just fine in single player. In the next video, we're going to be going into replication and talking about how to use RPCs as well as replicating variables. So th this whole setup will be synced through all the clients on the server but it will only be running through the server. So the server will be what determines whether or not the light switch turns on or off for the client. So it kind of dictates everything. Well, I will see you in the next video.